Hello everyone, welcome back to Object Oriented Programming with Java. And next up, we are going to start with inheritance. And inheritance is a, a fundamental OOP principle. So I just thought that a programming session first would help understand inheritance better. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is the model for what we are going to create in this session. I've got a rectangle class here with uh, two fields, uh, a width and a height. And I've got two constructors. This looks fine. I've got two methods here. I've got a public get area and I've got a public print details which prints these details here, the width and the height. And next up what I have is the square class. Just ignore this for now. I've got here the square class and we all know that every square is a rectangle. So in cases where we can say stuff like every square is a rectangle, it's a good idea to uh, make the square class inherit from the rectangle class. So what inheritance basically means is that the child class, so in this case the square class, gets all the behavior of the parent class. So I'm just going to make a note here, child class gets behavior of parent class so this means that uh, it, the square class will already have a width and a height and we're always going to be setting both of them to the same value and it will also have all of these methods right here uh, one very important thing to remember is that constructors are not inherited so this is really important star star constructors are not inherited so uh, what I have here is an int width and an int height both inherited from the rectangle class and I've got a constructor I've got two constructors here which is again fine and I've got two methods here the get area method which inherits from rectangle uh, so what happens here is that this get the square class already has a get area method and it already returns uh, the width multiplied by the height which is the area of the square as well so we don't really have to write the definition of uh, this get area method again and uh, the second method we have is the print details which prints the detail of the details of the square and this one is slightly different from the way the print details works in the rectangle class so in this case we're going to have to define a print details separately and that's uh, that's something called overriding and we'll discuss it, this in the theory session so there's going to be one slight complication here when we actually do this but let's look at it when we come across it so I'm going to go ahead and create a new file and I'll say rectangle.java and this is my class rectangle. I'm just going to quickly go through this private int rectangle. Okay, let's just quickly look at what order it is in. Oh, it's in the width comma height order. So width here and height here. So inside this, I just need to do a this dot width equals width. I hope you remember the this keyword. This dot height equals height. And next up, I've got the other constructor, public rectangle and this just calls the first constructor with 0 comma 0 and i've got a public get public in get area and this just returns width into height and i've got public void print details and inside this I just need a system.out.println 
width plus width and here there is going to be no confusion for the width variable so I don't need a this and here I'll make this height and this as well height so that's that's it for the rectangle class I guess alright so now let's create another file and call this square.class sorry square.java so this is my class square now the way we implement inheritance is we use the extends keyword so extends rectangle so that's how we do it I'll just make a note here as well uh, inheritance using the extends keyword so that done now we directly need a constructor here so I'll have a public square with uh, one parameter inside okay so now the issue is that I can't do something like uh, width or height or this dot width that's because that would give me an error so I just like to go to the uh, first tutorial notes here I've written uh, private means that no other class has access to it that includes the child class as well so I don't have direct access to the width or the height so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to call this constructor right here with the width and the height and that's going to set the height and width for me so the way I do that is I use something called the super keyword so uh, super calls the constructor of the parent class because parent classes are often also called the super classes and child classes are known as the subclasses so I just do a super side comma side what that's going to do is that's going to call this constructor right here with width and height as the side value that was passed here so that should do it next I've got public rectangle sorry square and no parameters here so what I could do here is just call this constructor and I think that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to say super and that will call that constructor with and set both height and width to 0 0 now here's the thing so in the inheritance model I've got a get area method and this just inherits from the rectangle class right and this is already public here so I don't even need to write this method here it I can just use it from my test class directly so I'm just going to jump to writing the other method which is the print details method so I do public void print details and I do a system dot out dot print and say side plus alright so here's the complication that I was talking about so we don't have any way to uh, get the height or the width and I needed to print that here so as a solution for that we are going to edit the model itself of course we uh, often don't have this option but uh, I have the option and I'm going to use it so I'm going to add the getters and set I guess I'll just add the getters for both of these so I'll have public int get width and this will just return the width and I'll have a public in get height return the height so I go into the rectangle class and 
I add a public int get width which returns width and public int get height return height sorry this should be return and it's almost always a good idea to have getters for your private fields so there's some way to get the fields and here i now i just need to do something like uh this dot get fit and that will work because uh adding these two methods here has directly added them here as well because the square class inherits from the rectangle class so let's just test both of these classes now i've cleared out the test class so here i'll say rectangle rec equals new rectangle and let's say i've got 5 comma 4 and square square equals new square and i just pass this aside of say 6 and now let's do system dot out dot println rectangle area equals plus rect dot get area and we are just going to use this again let's do square area equals square dot get area and next we are going to do rec dot print details and we are going to do square dot print details and let's just test this out now so I do a java c rectangle dot java java c square dot java java c test the java and i do a java test so this works totally fine this these are the rectangle details that got printed this is the square details that got printed and the rectangle area got calculated as 5 into 4 and the square area got calculated as 6 into 6 so even though we uh we never defined the get area method for the square we were able to call it from this test class right here so that's what inheritance does and we'll be talking a bit more about inheritance in the next session as well so i'll see you there